since I've been dealing with lots of assholes from the Black Dragon Fighting Society, I figure I'll look at their site and um, tell them some real history, which they don't seem to know. Uh, let's start at the top. Here we go. They're talking about... <laughs> so stupid. In as much as in China, the Taoist Wudong Temple, is Wudang, Taoist, was made infamous by its Black Dragon Fighting Society, destroying the Buddhist temples of the Shaolin. The title Black Dragon Fighting Society is also a designated term of honor bestowed upon all those linked by no hold barred mixed martial arts fights, initially sponsored by the Japanese Black Dragon Society, Kokuryukai, no, which was a prominent paramilitary ultranationalist right wing group in Japan at the turn of the 20th century. Well, one that obviously tells you if you know about Japanese right wing people. Yeah, they're they're China's biggest fans. That's that's exactly what it is. I I don't know. They actually they might be. I'm not sure if they're America if they like America more, or China more, or maybe Korea more. So way to go on that one. Well, all this bullshit. Blah 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 blah. The 2006 Jet Li motion picture Fearless is based on the legendary true life experiences of a famous early 20th century Chinese martial artist, Ho. Wan Jia, which is actually wrong, is Huo Yuan Jia, and um, says, who challenged foreign fighters in these highly publicized blood sports, no hold barred mixed martial arts events in the late 1800s, restoring pride and nationalism to China at a time when Western and Japanese imperialism. But she just said that they, the ultra right wing Japanese were friends with China at the time. That's weird. You just, it's been like two sentences and you contradicted yourself. It's weird. Uh, imperialism were eroding the country. He is the ancestral teacher to Grandmaster Pierce and his lineage, etc. But who the fuck is Grandmaster Pierce? You don't even discuss Grandmaster Pierce. But, let's talk about this guy. This uh, Huo Yuanjia. In his life, he did fight some uh, foreigners, or not really. He fought a total of one match in his entire life. It was a boxing match against an Irish guy named Hercules O'Brien. There was a second match that he fought, which he actually didn't fight. It was a Russian guy who said he was like the best wrestler in Russia and came to China, and he said, Chinese people are weak, Russians are far superior and can destroy them in wrestling matches. So this guy goes, alright, um, can we have a wrestling match then? And the guy goes, the Russian guy says, no, I was just, you know, I'm a performer. That's just an act to get people to come to my show and see me. I don't actually want to fight anyone. So then this guy goes, alright, I won. So that's his first match that he won. One of two matches in his entire life, one of which was actually fought. So. He fought the boxing match against the Irish guy, and um, this no-holds-barred blood sport competition. The rules were, whoever falls down first is the loser. So, you know, it's I don't understand how that's blood sport or no-holds-barred. It's a boxing match where the first person to fall down loses. It's like not even anywhere near as bad as boxing is nowadays. It's like... And this is the fucking guy that you're saying is the basis of all your shit? What the fuck? Well, obviously. <laughs> his his one match is greater than the number of matches that any of your other guys have fought. Frank, uh, fucking Ashita Kim. I don't even know who the fuck else is in your group. Um, it's old guy. Uh, Thomas Daw? What's his? I don't know his name, but he's really shitty. But they're all really shitty, so that's kind of not even worth discussing because, uh, you know, it's like looking at a, a toilet and saying, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, just make your own shit joke up there. I don't even know where I was going with it. But, um, yeah, so. And then, uh, blah, 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 blah. The 1988 released film Bloodsport portrays the true life exploits, no, of uh, Frank Ducks over there. And then Black Dragons sponsored the events. Uh, <laughs> Senzo Tiger Tanaka, who was referenced in historical documents. Um, 
what historical document is that? You know, I understand that, um, what was that, You Only Live Twice? I understand that it was a book before it was a movie, but uh, I don't think that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the comic book, is a historical document. Just like you're this thing, and then, you know, the old bullshit over here, oh, Black Dragon uh, came from Genghis Khan, the Bandizo, and then the, the Greeks, fucking Alexander the Great bringing... Uh, Pancration over. No, that's that's bullshit too. You think that Alexander the Great was <laughs> sitting there and he's like, Oh man, let me I'm gonna be the first person to hit someone with my hand open. Stupid. Then it goes on, they do this usual bullshit over here. I'm not even gonna bother talking about their Kokoryukai um thing that's not even our can it's like it has nothing to do with you. They're a political group. You're a group of assholes, you know. It's like, when you go to the, you know, you'll go to this fucking Black Dragon Fighting Society meetup, if you're allowed to. We're not allowed to. Uh, we're told if we go there, they have lawyers and police and all this kind of crap, and they're going to cry and get tears on our clothes and then be stained or something, you know. But if you ever go there, you'll say, oh, I must be uh, crawling around on my hands and knees and, uh, NBA shower because everywhere I turn is one there's an asshole over here and a huge dick over here, but now you're at the black dragon circle jerk over here. So anyway, they uh, he's they go into the bullshit about you know oh uh, fucking we we go back to the Shaolin temples but you just said that in the first part of your damn site you say that the black dragons destroyed the Shaolin temple because they're from uh, Wudong or well, <laughs> Wu-Dang or Wu-Dong. You spell it Dong because I guess that's what you're obsessed with. And then, um, they say that whole bullshit of, oh, the body dharma came to China and all the monks were out of shape. No, we know that's a fucking myth. We, we have so much records of that. The people in the fucking thing were probably in better shape than him because they were all generals who were fleeing after they lost battles and they were trying to, you know, basically eliminate all the crap that was in their past lives by trying to make up for it by being monks and they were just badasses. Same damn thing as, you know, with uh, Sohei in Japan. How it's, oh, it's basically a group of warriors that happen to be religious people instead of a group of religious people who happen to be warriors. So, you know, they, go, they just quote all this mythological bullshit that doesn't even exist. And then, you know, you go on to fucking Count Dante, who, uh claims, you know, oh, I'm Count Dante because I'm a Spanish royal, even though that's an Italian name, but whatever. Uh, at least this fuck actually went to other people's dojo and, you know, kind of fighted, fought them, but um, also just set the damn place on fire, but I guess that takes more balls than whatever the hell these fucking idiots are doing nowadays. Uh, yeah, so, and then he has the whole bullshit story of all these people who were worshipping Count Dante, how, you know, how he did all this stupid shit. Oh, Vic Moore beat up Bruce Lee, Frank Dukes beat up Bruce Lee, all these people beat up Bruce Lee. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. All this bullshit. I'm not even gonna keep, go I don't even know how long I've been talking about this stupid bullshit. Almost nine minutes now, just wandering talking about bullshit. Ashita Kim. Like, this just complete collection of assholes. Just garbage. Oh, and then South Africa, where we have our new dipshit of the year over here, whatever the fuck this guy's name is, Hendrik. He just was talking. Hendrik Strauss. Yeah, another dumbass over here in the middle of nowhere. Have fun commenting on my video, though, because I know you're about to see it. But, yeah, I really don't even know what else to say. If you want to actually learn about the Black Dragon Society, get your history books out and learn that they're a political group that have fucking nothing to do with this bullshit. And, uh, the end. There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I'm just looking at their site, and it's a fucking joke. They have a picture. It's a screen cap from the goddamn Bloodsport movie, and I guess they're passing it off as something that's real. What a fucking joke. We've seen the movie. We know what's in the damn thing. Garbage.